everyone this is Sandra at Spirit of Avalon so I promised that when I got my centerpiece that I would show you it so this is it and this is um, a piece created for me by Wynne Abbott and you can find her on Instagram and these are she calls them ancestral temples so it's handmade um she does make other things as well i'm sure a lot of you have probably seen a lot of the wind abbot um pottery and stuff so i wanted this to be like a glastonbury one and she's done that so you've got <coughs> the tour right at the top and the pathway going up to the top of the tour and she even, I couldn't believe it, put this lovely like chalice wellhead symbol in there, the Vesica Pisces I couldn't believe it when I saw that, I was like oh wow because I didn't like expect that um, the tea light is sitting on this labyrinth which she has um, coloured in green just move it so you can have a look and then you've got this like dolmen at the front and then you can kind of peer through <laughs> so it would be like walking through there through there into the place so so yeah so it's it's really lovely um i don't know if you can see around the back probably not but it's all really nicely done and it's just like a little cave it's just like um a little cave um, and she's even got what look like hand prints and stuff and spirals and things inside like you can see one there and there's a triskel over here so and little steps going up the side which have got like a kind of goldy colour on them so and I haven't done anything else with my alter really since you saw it last i've just altered things around a little bit but i'm going to do it um for autumn so i'm going to get some like uh autumn leaves you know like the fake ones you can get and some things to just um make it look a bit more autumnal um also as usual it looks a bit cluttered i know so i might move some things around I mean, you've seen my wand before it's blackthorn this is my athame with uh, antlers uh, deer antler handle which I got from Glastonbury you've seen um, the shield and the gig um, that's just another candle holder with Glastonbury tour on it that's the um, the uh hagstone that i found in my mum's garden i couldn't believe it i'd been saying that i never find hagstones um and then i was doing a bit of gardening and couldn't believe it when i actually um found it under some leaves <clears throat> it was just sitting there a complete hole all the way through and um, I just felt like it was like my dad because obviously it was my dad's garden um, that he'd like put it there for me kind of thing I know it might sound a bit daft but yeah so there's that obviously Kanunos that's my new chalice or newish chalice that I got in Sherwood that is um, energy clearing uh, spray a Celtic spirit from Sons of Asgard candle 
also from them. Some Chellis Well Water, Ellen of the Ways, Bell, the um, offering bowls have got Avalon like incense mix in them, which I sometimes use in, in offering bowls. I've got a few Sons of Asgard loose incense. Um, that spray is a meditation spray that I use quite a bit and the top is now missing. <laughs> um, Tree Man, Glastonbury Stone that I got that was hand painted by someone selling them sort of at the bottom of the tour. And this stone I found in my mum's garden as well and looks kind of goddess shaped to me. And then my um, stone painted stone with the chalice well symbol and there's a tall one here and obviously Brazelli blue stone skulls and a little one there and that's a half a bird's egg and these were actually put in with this so when um, it was sent to me from Wynne Abbott these were actually in there as well so she'd actually put these three little crystals in there which I will put into the into the cave itself so she'd put those in there which was really lovely um, that is my um, little bag that um, Simon sent me it's bag of support and it had like a wooden heart and a star and other bits and pieces in it these charms which I kind of hung on the front of it oops and my tall bowl so yeah so really it was just to show you this um, and yesterday I had a load of um, rosemary from the garden and I've made six um, like smudge bundles um, from it so those are like drying at the moment so I got six quite good size um, rosemary bundles so I did them yesterday tied them all up so yeah so that's it really guys um, it was really just to show you this I hope everyone's doing okay I will be back with some more walkthroughs um soon and yeah i hope you like it and like i say you can find win abbott under win abbott on instagram um that's where i found found her that probably there's a website if you just type win abbott in um to google um and she sells these pieces they do sell really quickly though but as I said I asked her to if she could make this one for me and you know she did and it's lovely and very very well packaged as well because I was so worried that it might break but it was so well packaged um, yeah just really really pleased with it so yeah so I'm sure I will talk to you all soon. Bye for now.